my name is my name is James Jensen, and welcome back to this video of what I'm doing, so I'm going to be playing Emily is Away 2. So, um, of course, what happened last time, um, we basically just talked to the people, um, and that's what happens every episode, and Emily is Away 2, just like the original game, Emily is Away. Go play it for yourself, because it's free on Steam, so why wouldn't you? Okay, so it's time to start, or it's time to choose a new, um, thing, a new profile pick thing. Okay, um, I do not know what a single one of these is. Scrolls, I suppose. Okay, let's go for the snow control. I don't know. Take my hand, not your fingers through mine. We'll walk from this dark room for the last time. Snow Patrol. Okay, cool. Um, Bora, I suppose. I arrived with clothing, US dollars, and a jar of gypsy tears to protect me from A. <laughs> what? Destroy what destroys you, or the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. That's a nice thing to think about. Alright. So, let's start by talking to Emily. Um, hey! Oh yeah, you actually have to type in this game, but not like the actual words or anything, just like typing randomly spamming. Hey Jenin, what's up? Um, nothing much. How you doing, Emily? I kind of don't care. The game has forced me to talk to you, but whatever. Uh, Jaden, how is you? What is wrong with this? Oh no. That green was right, but... What? Oh! No. Okay. I'm good. I'm good, thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Hemorrhoids, huh? Yeah. Shit's heavy. I know. <laughs> Um, not too much. Got home from work. Got home from Kelly's a little while ago. Um, how is she? See, I like Kelly. I don't like you, Emily. I, I, I like Kelly. I like Kelly. Kelly's a sweetheart. But you, Emily, you're an absolute bitch. You're a cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> Sounds fun. How is she? Alright. Same. Hey, do you know what today is? Friday, baby! No, it's Wednesday. It's my birthday next Tuesday. I have to spend it in quarantine. No, it's Friday the 13th. Ooh, spooky! Spooky. Spooky. Happy Friday the 13th. Does that mean murder is legal? <coughs> Shit, my mom's calling me for dinner. But I'll be on later. Talk to you then. Okay, see ya. Great, finally you can leave. Awesome. Bye, bitch. Okay, what was your name again? Okay. What was this one's name again? What are you gonna do to celebrate? Uh, Black Matt. Bob for Apple. Pop for apples, I suppose, you know. No demonistic shit here. No. We clean. We clean, bitches. Whoa, old school. I like it. No dark magic, no shit. I'm so happy it's fall. It's like my favorite season. It's alright. I love winter more than I like fall. That's why, like, when I'm older, I want to move to England. I want to move back to England, um, because it's cold as balls up there. Are you going to dress up for Halloween? Definitely! We didn't really celebrate Halloween here in, here in South Africa, because, like, because it's a, um, because South Africa is very, very, very strict on religion, or we're very strong with, a, with religion, so, um, that type of thing, like Halloween, and that type of stuff, that just isn't done here. Um, I don't know why. That would be wonderful, but, you know. Um, 
It just isn't done here because it's the celebration of the dead. Awesome sauce. Me too. Jackie's having a big Halloween party. I'm looking at costumes now. What do you think I should go as? <laughs> Sexy nurse. No. A witch like Emily. Emily, the witch bitch. <laughs> Emily, the witch bitch. That's super generic, though. I was actually trying to decide between Alice in the Wonderland and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, it's gonna actually take me there. Take me there, baby. I wanna see it. Oh, I wanna see it. Show it to me. It's probably not gonna record, is it? Because I'm recording on Fraps. I don't think it is. Okay, I suppose. Seems fine, I suppose. Alright. What do you think is better? Oh, definitely the Sally. Sally! Good old Sally! Alice is not looking too family friendly around here, you know. And we want that family friendly <clears throat> costume party, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking. I'll go pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, clearly. Jackie's parties are always crazy. You can probably expect more drunk texts tomorrow. You're a mess. You're a mess. If you're literally predicting drunk te texts from yourself, then you're a then you're a like, drunk person, I suppose. Someone who drinks a lot. I think I still have some of those locked on my phone from this summer. Lol. I know how you how you understood any of them. Uh, uh, honestly, I didn't. And I don't understand you all the time. You're pretty weird. You're a pretty weird woman. Lol, I like this one. Don't send me more pictures. OMG, um, we think Jackie's roof thigh now and starts never flooded boot so beautiful. Butterful. For some reason, this reminds me of one of my friends. Is my friend getting drunk? Okay, wonderful. Uh, I think Jackie's high now. Um, gee, we think. We thinks Jackie's roof thigh now. Stars never looked so beautiful. And Jackie's high. Jackie's high and the stars never looked so beautiful. But the most important part is that Jackie is high. You got it. Damn, I'm impressed. Lol. Hey, maybe you could co you could just come to the party. Do you drink? No, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm underage. It's illegal for underage people to drink. Oh, cool, cool. That's probably smart. Yeah, it is. Do you, like, care if people around you are drinking? Uh, of course not. I'm underage. Other people are overage. And even when I'm older, I don't think I'm going to want to drink. Because it's... A stupid thing to do because you're just you're poisoning your body and poisoning your bloodstream it's just not healthy it's just not healthy but screw it I'll do it I'll do it I don't mind I don't mind trying it I don't mind trying it I'll try it just totally come out and party there uh, sure You have to dress up. What would you go as? <gasps> Jack Skellington! Jack Skellington! My boy. 
my boy, Jack Skellington. Long, long legged, white boned bash. That'd be an awesome sauce. We'll take some pictures together. I'll add you to the event page. Oh, wait, are we friends on Facebook? Don't think so. Don't want to be friends on Facebook. You're gonna put all kinds of pictures of freaking food on your Facebook. I don't want that shit on my feed. Then friend me when you get a chance, yo. Uh... Yeah, I read your survey now. I read your survey now. I just read your survey now. Thing. Oh no. Now you know my darkest secrets. So what are you up to? Um... Nothing really. Nothing really. I'm just sitting here in front of a camera, talking absolute bullshit into a mic, with the light face directly in my face, so that I can go blind, and I'm staring at a monitor. Um, but yeah, if that sounds good, then that sounds good. Great. Really, what are you up to? Just listening to some, just listening to music. Senses Fail just came out with a new album. Any good? I'm not going to be able to hear it because, of course, I don't know if Fraps would capture it. It's all the good. You'll talk what? I bet you'll like it. Punk's your favorite? Why would you just assume that Punk is my favorite? Huh? Or did I tell you that? Okay. I seriously do not know if this is recording it. Alright, that sounds decent. Cool. So it's really good! I'm so glad you like the same music as me. Seriously, you're pretty swell. Obviously, batch. Yeah. What up? What up? I'm pretty swell. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm swell. You hear that shit? I'm swell. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um. Lol, well, thanks. Lol, well, thanks, Evelyn. Oh, thank goodness you told me what her name was. I would have never found out. I really like talking to you. Glad we're friends. Duh! Talk to the hand, bitch! Uh, I suppose I like it too, you know. You're not, you're not like, you're not too shit. You're not too shit of a person, I suppose. You seem nice enough, I suppose. I'm really glad we sat next to each other in history last year, lol. Although, uh, <sighs> Although I feel like there's a lot about you I still don't know. I'm an open book. You can ask me anything. Except for my address. What is wrong with you? Me too. I have an idea. Let's play a game. I get to ask a question about whatever, then you get to ask a question. If I say no, what if I what if I don't want to do it? What if what if that sounds like a bad idea to me? What if I'm gonna answer something like, Oh, have you ever murdered someone before? What if I accidentally answer, um, the question? So, yeah. The answer. You already asked a question, so we're obviously playing. Not fair. That's so not fair. I will hold that against you till the date. No, I'm joking. And just ask what comes to mind first. If you take too long, it'll just be my turn again. Are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Great. Sounds fun. Yeah. So oh! Oh, I just got what my profile thing is. It's scrubs. Oh, okay. I'll start with an easy one. Do you remember my favorite kind of movie? Horror. I... Yeah, I can remember yours is horror. Right? 
Yep, 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 I knew you'd remember. Now it's your turn. Quick, ask me anything. Favorite animal. What is my favorite animal? If you don't tell me what my favorite animal is, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I didn't see that there's a progress bar that goes down like that. That's pretty cool. Cats. Kittens are pretty much the cutest things ever. They need an old bird. Let's see. Have you ever snuck out of your house? No. I live on a mountain. If I snuck out of my house... I live in a pretty, like, gated estate, or like a gated place, so it'd be really hard for me to sneak out. Done any drugs? You know, any... Ah! Psychedelics or any of that shit? Mm -hmm. Just weed, but I kind of like the idea of experimenting. Alright, let's get serious. Do you have a crush on anyone? Yeah, I do, lol. Ha 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 ha. Totally relatable. Ha 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 Oh, scandalous. I wonder who it is. I know what I'm asking next. Have you ever been in love? And if yes, with who? Unfair, that's like two questions in one. That's legal. What you weren't doing wasn't. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna report I'm gonna report you to the police if you don't tell me your answer. Evelyn You're a cheater, but I'll answer both. I guess it's kind of a long story. Uh, now I'm excited. Spill the tea! Spill the tea, sister! I wanna hear everything! Everything. Inch size? Inch? Inches? You have a foot long. Sorry, this is getting wrong. Okay. Steve Myers, you know him, right? Fake ID guy? I wonder how my character would know the fake ID guy. If he doesn't drink. Yeah, me and him dated for a lot of my sophomore and junior year. I got pretty serious and I definitely think I loved him. You think? Then he was going off to college, so he broke up with me last winter. That sounds complicated. It sounds too complicated for me, sugar. For sugar. I think it's time for you to move along. Move along, you're stinky! I don't want any more of your stinky love stories. I don't want any of it. None of it. Yeah, complicated and confusing. Okay. Like, I'm getting over him. It's just weird, lol. Isn't he in college? Yeah, isn't he in college? Don't you just automatically get over people when they go to college? <sighs> Stupid bitch. Like, seriously. Open your horizons. He comes back sometimes, but even then, we're pretty much... We're very much over. The feelings still hang around, though. When it worked, we were a really good couple. Ah! Why am I yawning so much today? Why... Was he your first boyfriend? You should have asked, was he your first serious boyfriend? I mean, yeah, my first real boyfriend. Called it! Called it! I knew! I knew it! I knew it! There was only one serious boyfriend in my life. Like, he was the first person I ever had. Wait, you were a junior? You were 16 or 17 years old! or anything like forgive me if I'm wrong forgive me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure that sex was made for like married people right you telling me I could just do that you telling me that's just an option that I have in my life I don't know that's just the way I've been brought up but I, don't, I suppose it doesn't matter uh, um How's moving on? How's moving on doing? You feeling okay with that? I'm not okay. 
How are ya? How are ya? You doing well? I mean, I had a fling. I had like a fling this past summer. But nothing serious as Steve, obviously. Is it still going on? Are you guys still doing it, like right now? Have you guys been going on like since since summer? Because if so, gracious me, that would be really, really, really weird and uncomfortable, I suppose. We fooled around, but like it was fun, not serious, you know. Jaden, if you don't mind me asking, have you ever had sex? No, I haven't, because I'm 13 years old, turning 14, almost 14. Literally next week, Tuesday. What are you getting me? Nothing? That's nice. Oh, okay, well, can you still understand what I mean? Uh, lust versus love. Sweetheart. Uh, lust versus love and all that. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. What? Not a lot of people know, but me and Steve had these plans for our futures, so being together felt like a big deal. Um, what kind of plans? Marriage? Children? Wouldn't be that hard to get children, or you'd need to do to remove one thing, but yeah, whatever. It's going to- it's gonna sound really stupid, don't judge me, okay? Um... No judgement, I suppose, that's my thing with everyone. No judgement. No judgement here. No judgement here, love. I got you. So, I thought we'd go to the same college together. And then, maybe, I don't know, get married, start a family, whatever. You'd only need to remove one thing for your family, so, yeah, that's okay. Um, that sounds pretty normal to me, but why would I, why would I judge you for that? Just like, oh, what a loser, what a loser, ha, ah, you wanna get married and have a family? What the, what the hell is that shit? What's going on there? Like, what kind of ass would do that? It feels really silly now, thinking about it. But I think that's why it's been so hard to get over the breakup. Uh, that plan doesn't eat Steve. It doesn't have me involved. You know, that plan doesn't need Steve. You know, you could do it all on your own. You could just develop schizophrenia. Just keep experimenting with that weed of yours that you love experimenting with. And eventually you'll get schizophrenia. And then, you know, you can just imagine that, um, like you could just develop an alter ego that is your new husband or wife, um, and go for an insemination or something like that. And then suddenly, BAM! You are pregnant. And you can raise a child with this imaginary partner that you have. Wonderful. I know, and I still want that future even without Steve. Maybe that's silly. That's not silly. That sounds like a really good plan, actually. But, I only ever want to get married. I only ever want to think about getting married by 30. And I only ever want to think about kids by 40. Or 35 at least, yeah. We'll need to have been together for a long time before like, I just decide, okay, I'm gonna have your kids now. I just think people think it's stupid when I talk about it. Yeah, fuck those people. Fuck them. Oh, what? Right, you can go. You can go fuck off right there. Right, love. Right, love. Just tell them to fuck off. Yeah, simple enough. Thanks, Jaden. You've really made me feel a lot better. What are your plans after college? Do you want a family? Sure, I think I do. Not after college, like eight years after college. Nine years after college. Ten, maybe. Ten years. Ten, maybe. Evelyn will remember. Right, I'm so glad you don't think it's weird. I feel like I sound silly when I talk about it. Uh, it's not weird at all. Why would that be weird? That's what we're taught in in Africa or in South Africa like that you need to get married you need to have kids you need to get a house your kids need to go to a proper school or your kids need to like grow up in the Christian faith or whatever so that's the basic stuff that's that's basic that's basic South African culture I suppose thanks so much for letting me rant about this hey I just remembered it's still my turn to ask you a question 
Lol, okay, sure, whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Why'd you wanna ask me? Who the hell is being attacked? Oh, he's a good one. Would you ever date someone like me? Definitely, definitely I would. You like me, don't you, Evelyn? You're pretty swell. Oh, lol, you're swell too. Your turn, last question. Don't fuck it up. Did you ever date me? Oh, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Pussied out halfway through. To, uh, are you getting tired? <laughs> fucking pussy. Yo, what were you gonna say? I saw you delete some shit. Yeah. Would you date me? What, would you date me? Would you, I don't know. Would you ever date me? Someone like me. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I would never be this bitch. It's just absolute little bitch. Bitch. Ah. Just take what you want. Punk rock is your favorite and we have the same life plan. But you haven't been in a serious relationship yet. So I don't know, maybe. You're a really good friend. And I don't want to lose that. Then why be flirty with me? You're a good friend too. You know what? Now that I think about it, Evelyn's kind of a bitch too. Oh wow, it's getting kind of late, huh? I still want to shower before I go- Shower? Before I go to bed. <laughs> you do you. You <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing me. I don't care if you do. I'm gonna goo, but tonight was really fun. It was aight. It was aight. I've had better nights, I suppose. Good night, Jaden. Good night. Good night, Evelyn. Is that the end? Can I leave? But since there's something in the way, oh no. no! No! Can I just leave? Ah! Hey, sorry about that. Lol, it's okay. Just needed to go eat. Shut your eyes. I'll spin you in a chair. What the hell? Lol, it's okay. You gotta eat. Ah, so what were we talking about? Oh, Kelly's. Yeah, she showed me this site on Facebook. You know it? Like MySpace? Is that like MySpace? Kind of, but with l way less gifts. I'm setting up my profile now. There's just so many questions. They don't matter too much. Let's be the absolute like douche guy that just doesn't care. Cause girls seem to fall for those guys. So, yeah. ah, I know. Okay, I'm on the last part. I have to write a status? What should I write? Okay, download just finished, great. Um Emily is talking to Jaden. There's no one better to be talking about or to be talking to. Because of me. Haha, -ha, okay, I can work with that. There, it's finally done. But it's awesome. Please don't send me a link. I don't want to go check. Because I'm not screen check because I'm not screen capturing right now. I'M ONLY GAME CAPTURING, PLEASE! Don't make fun of it. So I don't care. Nice status. Whatever. Wait, didn't it? Wait, did I see that correctly? So I'm gonna poke you. What does that mean? Haha, uh -huh, yeah, I thought you'd like that. You should send me a friend request when you get the chance. Will do. I think I'm going to. <laughs> this bitch is so stupid, she actually thinks I'm going to. <laughs> oh. 
Emily is away. Okay, so Emily just left. Epic, can I leave? But it just said... Don't worry, I'm still here. Hiding from someone. Like me. Why would you hide from me? I'm completely normal. Haha, <laughs> you caught me. I just don't want to talk to some people. What like you? Me? Why wouldn't you want to talk to me? I'm wonderful, right? Some people like you! <laughs> Jeff, haha, he's kind of being an ass. Uh, I never like. Is there an option that says I don't give a? F I don't give a flying fuck. Cause I do not give a shit. Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm being better tonight or something, you know. Uh, you seem fine, I suppose. I suppose if I had to say, you're not the worst in the world. Can I send you the chat log? If it's a link to something, I swear. I promise. If it's a link to something, I swear. It's a send chat log. I set my where is it? Oh my gosh, 26 kilobytes. That's how big it was back then. Oh my gosh. It showed up on my desktop! Uh, I did. I'm not screen capturing though. I don't know, do you think it was out of line? Hold on, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check, hold on, just one sec. Just one sec, just one sec. Emma is signed in. Hey Emily, what's hey what's up? Nothing much you? Nothing much. So when are you coming over? I don't know if I can tonight. I have a lot of homework to do. You just do it here. It's like project kind of stuff. I really don't think I can come. Oh come on Emily, we've had this plan. Oh, wait. wait, this kind of sounds like shit are you serious? Actually sorry. This sounds kind of like an abusive story. So when are you coming over? Okay, you could just do it here. It's like project kind of stuff. I don't really think I can come. And then this Jeff guy. Um, uh, oh, come on, Emily. We've had this plan all week. Emily, I know. I'm sorry. Jeff, are you really not going to come over? I had a whole night planned for us. Emily. I don't think I can. Jeff. Holy shit, are you serious? What the fuck, Emily? Emily. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I told you that it might not work out. Jeff. I didn't think you were fucking serious. Emily. Well, I was. Jeff. I really can't believe you. Emily. I think I'm gonna go. Jeff. Sure, whatever. That kind of sounds like an abusive story. That kind of sounds abusive, like to... A to me, it does at least, because it's like, it's like, no, you're not gonna do your schoolwork. You need to pay attention to me, me. I deserve all your attention. That type of, and that's just not okay. It's not okay. Sometimes it's just hard being there. That it shouldn't be hard. That's not what a relationship is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like me. It's supposed to be like, oh, I can't come over tonight. Okay, that's cool. You have fun. I just feel like I'm expected to act a certain way when I'm there, and I hate that. The problem's solved, though, because I can just fake being away and talk to you. Um, I'm always here for you. Yeah, abuse is a very serious thing. It's a very serious topic, and it's not something that you can joke about or anything like that. So, yeah. Thanks, Jaden. No problem. I'm amazing. Hey, random question. Do you remember my favorite games? I think it was FP and uh, RPGs? My favorite games are RPGs. I don't know. I think FPS? Focus like and shooters, right? No. Okay, damn. 
Poppy cheese, come on. That's what I meant. What will Will the young man save it? Will she will he save it? Will she take it? It's RPGs too. Of course I remember. Oh man, do you remember my thing? Yeah, okay. Well well shit. Well shit, you're right, and now I'm a jerk. Except I'm a, I'm okay, that's what I was trying to be this whole time. Here, make up for it. By listening to some Siger Ross with me. Uh, alternative. Uh, you bet. I really love this album. You too much. Uh, it's great. It's great. I haven't heard it at all, but it's great. It's amazing. Because I'm not screen capturing. Yay, let's listen to the album together. Oh no, please. I have no idea what the lyrics mean, but the music always feels so, makes me feel so happy. And I'm glad you're happy. Great. I'm glad you're happy. Wonderful. That's friggin' wonderful. Good job. Sunshine, rainbows, lollipops, everything that's wonderful when we're together. Ba 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 da ba ba. Da, 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 da. You put Snow Patrol lyrics in your info. I really like them, suppose. I don't know. Hey, me too, we're the same You have some pretty good taste in music. Thanks. Colin P. Or Tongue Face. So, have you started applying to colleges? Uh. No. I'm in 8th grade, which for those of you who aren't South African, means that it's the first year of high school. There are four left. Once I've completed this year, there's four other ones. Yeah, I feel the same way. Where are you looking to go, ideally? Close by, I suppose. I'm gonna be that far from my parents, I suppose. I'm going to England, so. <laughs> I know, I'd really love to go to a school in the city. I've always thought it would be really cool to live in New York. That would be cool. London is just as noisy and expensive, yeah. Haha, uh -huh, right. I think I really just want to get out of here and go someplace totally new, you know. I understand. I get it. Completely understand. Completely get it. You must stay in New York after college. Like me. But I don't know, planning yeah, I think that that could be really grand. But I don't know, planning that far out can be a little silly. So much could change, yeah. Man, I love the guy that I am in this, in this scenario, or like, in this game. He's such a cool person. And I really don't see myself settling down anytime soon. Like right now, I honestly don't even see myself having kids. Uh huh. I, I don't see myself having kids ever either. I don't want to have children. No stinky kids. No stinkies. No. And about 20 or 30 years from now, my children are just going to see this video and be like, Dad, what's going on here? I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't... I can't. I am rarely able to take life as it comes, you know? I mean, I think. Good philosophy, I suppose. That's the thing. I want to be able to live my own life without any restrictions. No stinky kids for restrictions. How about after. How about you, after college, do what you want to settle down, like right after? Definitely not. Definitely not. Are you? 
<laughs> Are you joking? Are you serious? Wait, you're serious? Okay, that's yeah, okay, whatever. Cool beans, I'm so glad you think the same way I do. And if you move to New York too, maybe we'll be roommates. Say maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. You're pretty creepy. I don't think I don't think I'd ever want to be in the same room as you. You're pretty creepy. It would be. Thanks for letting me talk about it. Whenever I talk about New York with Jeff, he always gets so upset. Um, yeah, that's not fair. Like, this Jeff guy sounds really abusive because he's, like, putting his own needs in front of her needs. So, um, that's really wrong. Yeah, yeah hi. He doesn't want me to go far away. But I think he knows I'd go without him. Seems like an ass, yeah. Honestly, he seems like an ass. Must be honest, yeah. Sometimes, maybe. He's going through a really rough time. He just wants to be a more serious couple. Why not bring that up then? Why make me sound like the bad guy before you give me the actual facts? He just wants to be more serious. Okay, whatever. Um, what do you mean? What are you talking about? You, you talk about a relationship like Evelyn is talking about? Huh? Like that. Batch has been talking about all episode. It's pretty personal, so you can't tell anyone. Of course not. Why would I? It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Blah, 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 blah. I think he wanted to try to deny her some like his parents on her. That's what it sounded like to me as well. But the thing is, what is with Americans in this type of culture? Like, like it's just teenage sex, I think. You want to? You want to? Simple question. No, I think I'm just not ready for that with him. It's okay. It's not like he tried anything. It's just kind of annoying to keep turning him down. Leave him then. Leave him because that's not okay. It's not okay if he's pressuring to you to do that. It's just kind of not okay. Wait until you're ready. Break it off with him. Break it off with him. Because someone is someone who's noble and who actually loves you will actually want to wait until marriage. Yeah, but sometimes I feel weird. Like, I should have done it by now. Screw that! You do you, girl! You do you! Are you finally gonna... Are you finally going to actually say something like... Oh, it's getting late. Are you finally gonna say it's getting late? Yeah, mind me asking, have you ever had sex? Um, no, I haven't. I don't plan on having sex anytime soon, until I'm married. Oh, cool, then we're in the same boat, ha huh? That makes me feel a lot better. Thanks so much for talking with me about it. Of course! Why wouldn't I? That's... In time, Emily. Thanks, you're such a grand person. I'm sorry I stole so much of your night just talking about random stuff. Just be nice, I suppose. Are you done? Are you done? My camera has six minutes of recording time left. Please finish. Yeah, it has been. I really like talking to you about stuff. I feel like we're different now, but in a good way. I feel that way too. Are you done? Are you done yet? I was here kind of personal. Uh, sure. Sure, I guess. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I Why aren't you in a relationship? Haven't made a move yet. Just haven't made a move yet. 
I made a move. But you people are just so confusing that I won't be able to. Uh, you seem like such a great catch. Could there be an us? You're such a good friend. Thanks for being worried about me, I suppose. And you are too, Jaden. Should I know? You don't need to keep on reminding me that I'm a good friend. I'm an amazing friend. You're an awful person. Aw, oh, man. I think I need to get off the computer now. That's okay. Bye. Leave. Please. Go. Go. You're stinky. Get out of my face. Stinky. My mom needs to look at emails or something. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. D no shit. I chose I'll miss you. Whatever. Okay, go, 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 go. I don't care. Just leave. Stinky. Get your stinky, stinky, stinky butt out of here. Your stinky ass out of here. I'll miss you too, haha. -ha. Thanks again for everything tonight. No worries, mate. Get out. Leave. I don't want you anymore. You stinky. You're stinky. You're a stinky person. Talk to you again soon, okay? Uh, see ya. See ya. Never. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You're so unbelievable. Can I leave? Yes, I can finally leave. Amazing. Okay. That went on for much longer than what I thought it would be. But... That's gonna be the end of the second episode of Emily is Way 2. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to my